long. Okay, before I get into this deck, I do want to run down a couple of little things. One, I just got back from Winnipeg, uh, and boy are my arms tired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I got back from a massive filming session with Canada's own Spike Feeders. Uh, it was myself, it was Serge Jaeger, maybe you've heard of him. He's like an Alberta, he's like a content creator from Alberta? Maybe, um, oh, he used to be in Loading Ready Run until he died, right. Um, it was myself, Serge, and Krim, uh, the Asian Avenger. There, if you... <laughs> If you missed some of the goodies from this past week, I can also uh, show off some of those. Uh, the trip was great. We got so much filming done. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, we got so much filming done. So if you're a fan of the spike feeders, but not a fan of myself, uh, I'm terribly sorry because I'm going to be in a lot of those videos. Um, there was also some other stuff that happened during the weekend which uh, I guess I can show you right now. Oh, let's, uh... oh, I got this. This isn't related to the weekend, but my uh, first edition uh, Gem Mint 10 coughing, German coughing came in, which I was very excited about that. Uh, yeah, look at this, look at this. Over a terabyte of games filmed. 10 games of Commander and two matches of uh, Canadian Highlander film. These are all these, I also got all these coughings. I got a bunch of Pokemon cards. Uh, okay. So Crib and I, oh, I guess I should start off with this. This one's funny, this is funny. So I land, I land at the airport. Uh, the boys pick me up. Serge takes a photo and says, uh, well, there goes the neighborhood. And I give him the like, no cameras, please. Uh, and now I wanna, I want y'all to notice. Uh, 31,000 views, 400 likes. So in uh, classic Wheeler fashion, I ratio him. I say, always great to meet a fan. 19K views, <laughs> 577 likes. <coughs> uh, then we took this photo at a place called Wienerpeg, which is in the Forks. Uh, let me say this, Winnipeg, phenomenal. If Kiefer and I move out of Victoria, we're moving to Winnipeg, 100%. Uh, the rent's cheap. Everything that is there is cheap. Uh, the spike feeders are there. Uh, the city is gorgeous. The food was incredible. Yeah, big fan of Winnipeg. Now, we didn't go during the winter, but still, ah, that's fine. I can, I can, I'm fine with the cold. Um, we go to this place. Uh, we didn't actually eat at Wiener Peg. I did buy a uh, small carbonated water from them. Thank you. Um, I saw this. I thought I said, hey, Krim, shouldn't we take we should take a photo. <laughs> we should take a photo. Do the soy jack like looking at chicken meme. And he's like, great. And it worked out perfectly. I don't know how Krim did this to his face, but it worked. And then if you look at the original too, the guy has like some bags under his eyes as well as kind of a fucked up left eye. And this is perfect because I was very tired from, you know, traveling, getting up early for my flight. Uh, and also I have a fucked up left eye. So it worked perfectly, uh, kind of popped off. And then it just became a joke for the entirety of the weekend, where if you're on the Discord, you've probably seen uh, a whole bunch of them, but I'll show some choice ones here. Uh, this one was great. Various photoshops done by my Discord and Krim's Discord. Many of you fought in this war, and uh, thank you so much. Uh, this one, I think, is my favorite. <laughs> Although, Wilco's edit is so good. Just looking at the Mwan Uh And then we had uh, the edit from Wilco. Uh, there's a clown horn one. I believe this was Paiwo. Yeah, Paiwo did this. There, it's a gif of honking the horn. You get the picture. It was a good weekend. Uh, I also came out of that weekend uh, being like, okay, I'm convinced I like CDH. Um, now, ooh, I'm not going to spoil any of the outcomes of uh, the matches, but uh, let's say I like CDH a lot. Uh, no, it's it was fun. I'm convinced. Uh, I've got decks. I, a couple of the decks I tried that I really liked. 
Uh, there are some other archetypes that I would like to uh, explore. What decks did I play? Uh, I played Tivit, I played Keenan, and then I played Bruce and Th Bruce Tarl and Thrasios. Um, <clears throat> I, I liked, yeah, I liked it. It was fun. It uh, definitely serves a different purpose and sense of satisfaction than something like Highlander or uh, something or, or like, uh, you know, lower power commander or whatever. But it's it's good. It's it's nice. And, you know, I'm, I'll collect as many of these casual formats under my belt as possible to try and, uh, you know. <clears throat> that is also a thing before damage. Yeah. Is that like it's I don't know if it's necessarily a problem because I tend to participate in my hobby with people that I enjoy right? Like I would not, I'm not going to play games against people I don't like. And I would rather not play a game against someone. Uh, I would rather not play a game than play against someone I don't like, you know? So it, it kind of corrects itself in that way. Uh, a bit more difficult at uh, larger events, but I think it still has a bit better. Like it's a different kind of like you'll run into that player, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> but it was fun. I liked it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, oh, yeah. One other thing. I know we got a lot. I've been gone for like a week. Uh, one other thing. I'm going to pause the music. No, that's the soundboard. Don't look at my honkers. Uh, I'm going to pause the music real quick. Sorry, Mozart. Uh, because I don't know if you, if I talked about this, but I filmed... A series of uh, shorts at Magicon Vegas. Uh, are you by chance familiar in chat with uh, the Guess the Card featuring Gavin Verhey? Well, uh, get ready for Guess the Card featuring Bong Jam and Weedler. Uh, this is the official Magic the Gathering TikTok account, but they're also on the Instagram, and I think they're going to be added to the YouTube as well. Uh, but I've done a couple of guests. The I did. Well, I did a huge amount of guests. The cards. Only two of them came up. All right. Uh, All right I don't know how TikTok works. Ready, right? eggs, eggs, this is like very quiet. Eggs. But eggs. Is it legal yeah, this volume is incredibly low for. Correct. Is it? An but you get the picture. There's a couple of them up there. I mention it because the la I, one of them popped up last week, uh, which I guess they're pretty popular, uh, and then another one popped up today. So check that out. Check it out. Uh, thank you to Interior Explosion for the 42nd month. Congrats on leaving Winnipeg. Oh, I got bad news. I might, I might go back. Uh, glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, Pio's mom, welcome back for the 14th month. Woohoo. 14 months of rat few. Oh, and Wheeler's pretty good too, I guess. Thank you, Pio's mom. That's very kind of you. Uh, glad to have you. Good to see you. Uh, I, how long have we had rap view? It's been a hot minute. I'll put the, I'll put the, the music back on. We've had, we've had rap view for a hot minute. Uh, and brownie points for the second year. Holy smokes. Prime sub something, something half a wheelers discord joke, something, something comedic ge genius. Uh, glad. Uh, yes. Uh, comedy. Comedia. <laughs> you know what they say? Uh, thank you for the, what do you mean? The tracks unavailable. I paused it. We're not starting the symphony all over again. Great. Thank you for the support. What up, Abin? Uh, keep on jamming that bong, Mr. Weedler. No, that's the problem. I've been I've been jamming it way too much lately. Way too much. Uh, okay. So what are we playing? Well, I'm playing a deck called uh, Yogmoth's Jacuzzi, aka Jacuzzi on Commission, aka. Fast Bond, Tinfin's Storm, Lands, Reanimator deck. It shares a lot of DNA with like the garbage decks of old, where it's just like, I'm going to put all these combo cards that tie in together, and hopefully it'll work. Um, I played this somewhat recently on a Friday Night Paper Fight, uh, but I've made, <laughs> I made a slight adjustment. Uh, a couple of uh, changes. I've added in Orcish Bowmasters, which should have been in there before, but I didn't own a Borkish Bo or a Borkish O Masters. That's the card's name. Uh, and then I added another land because <laughs> Sacrifice is not on Magic Online. 
Uh, if you don't know what Sacrifice is, it's a card from Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited. It's a one mana black instant that says additional cost to cast a spell, you sack a creature, then you add X black mana, where X is the sack creature's mana value. Uh, this is Burnt Offering. This was originally in um, Ice Age, which is kind of similar, but it's a part of that like black red split that Ice Age did with like Soul Burn and, and all that. Um, so there's that. There, there's the, let me, let me break down some stuff for the deck. There's the uh, Fast Bond package. There's the squandered resources. Actually, you know what? Here, let's let me let me break down the packages in the deck. Uh, there's the fast bond package where it's just play a bunch of lands, sack them to Zern Orb, uh, gain a bunch of life, add a bunch of mana, uh, and maybe combo off featuring uh, face reward and second sunrise. There's also just gaining a bunch of life through fast bond Zern Orb and then a crucible, either in the form of Ramanap Excavator, Crucible Worlds, or Conduit of Worlds. Um, what are we going to do with that life? Well, we're going to pay it all into Gristlebrand or Yogmoth's Bargain or Bullets to Citadel and cast our deck and, you know, try to storm off and kill people. Uh, we can storm off and kill people with Tendrils of Agony. Great way of doing this. Uh, we could do it through something like Shuldred plus Time Twisters and Echo of Eons and Make your opponents draw a bunch of cards and they lose a bunch of life and all that jazz. Uh, we have the, we have Field of the Dead in here. I don't have Dark Depths combo anymore. This deck used to have Dark Depths combo, but I'm not super enthused now that they, you know, Solitude and Friends. Uh, but we have Field of the Dead, so we could just get a bunch of lands and play, make infinite zombies. We can draw our deck with Silent Clearing. We can strip them out. We have Strip and Waste in here, which works with our Life from the Loam. Um, we have Children of Corliss. This is where the Tin Fins part comes in. Children of Corliss with, you know, Gristlebrand or Yog Bargain. You pay a bunch of life, draw a bunch of cards, bring back the children, sack it, gain a bunch of life, start popping off. Um, yeah, you get the picture. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Bunch of stuff in here. So let's see how it goes. It's not the strongest deck in the world, but there's something there. Uh, there, there is something here. Crop rotation got unpointed, so this is a, a nice little ditty that we can play as well uh, for free. Our points are Demonic Tutor. I didn't even explain that there's also like a heavy reanimation package. Lets you cheat in some of your big idiots into play. I think I need a couple more ways of getting my big idiots into the graveyard. I have cards like Entomb. Uh, I have cards like Unmarked Grave. Even dredging off life from the loam or like intuition can do it. But, you know, I, I think I need a couple more pieces. But uh, anyway, points. Uh, we got Demonic Tutor. We got Strip. Uh, we have Intuition. And we have Vampiric Tutor. Where's my Vamp Tutor? I got Vamp Tutor. Uh, man versus Manatee. Welcome back for the fourth month. Who would win between Yogmoth's Jacuzzi and Urza's Hot Tub? I mean, probably Urza's Hot Tub because that deck ended up being... Uh, well, Urza's Hot Tub got um, pointed into uh, like Oblivion. Although I guess that was closer. It depends. So there's... I know that there's a card called Urza's Hot Tub or something like that, but... Uh, Urza's Hot Tub ended up being kind of a name for Hot Tub Time Machine, which was a Lands Mystic Sanctuary Time Walk combo deck. Um, I, sh I should probably try updating that deck too. That's a fun one. Um, but yeah, Spell Seeker's like three points right now. So maybe maybe this over that. Uh, Weirdo of Oz. Also, I don't think that was a genuine question, but I'm glad I answered it genuinely. Uh, Weirdo of Oz, welcome back for the 32nd month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, in computer, that's one year. That's close to it. So close to one year. Uh, I can taste it. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you for the support. Speaking of computer, there's also a new crap shot out. I know there's just so much shit, there's, but there's a new crap shot out that it's just me. The cast of the crap shot is me and Ian's car. Uh, you can check it out. It's incredibly unhinged. Deserves a channel watch. 
tell you what, let's play, let's get a match going, then we can watch. Because uh, uh, we are 37 minutes into the stream and I have yet to play Magic. That is incredible. <laughs> that is, that is so fun. Uh, okay. Uh, I should probably pull up my people I'm playing list. Mm -hmm. Kelvin, please fight me. Please fight me. Oh, I need to add it. Edit the command too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this this deck this deck needs some work too. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be uh, nice and nice and clear. What did I call this? Fast on tin fins storm. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Hmm. This is kind of funny. I don't think it's very good. So we have uh, our fast mana. We have like soul ring. And, or we don't have Sol Ring. We have Lion's Eye Diamond is what I mean. Like, we don't have a, a piece of fast mail that's really solid. Uh, I'm just going to blow it. Although Urza Saga, I mean, Urza Saga is Urza Saga. Like, we can go Triome, Hand Attack, Urza Saga, Swords, their thing. I don't know if this is really what I want to do. We could face reward, get back our Urza Saga, which is kind of funny. But we're, like, pretty far off from doing anything relevant, so I'm going to Mulligan. Hmm. This hand, I'm actually, I'm kind of closer to liking. It's it's a little messy. Uh, <laughs> like, we have the reanimation spell, so if we draw a reanimate card, then we're we're golden. We have a yog bargain, which if we get a green, we can yog bargain pretty quickly. I think I like this more than going to five. I don't know hate going to five i don't know what kelvin's on and this is at least it's kind of fast it's a bit it's, uh, i'm gonna go to five okay so we have sylvan scrying which can then find lines find urza saga and then we can urza saga echo and we can keep like land land animate dead i think i like this like we keep or we keep all of these and pitch the animate dead or pitch the two lanes and keep animate dead like this i think i like this all right well let's see how it goes not exactly how i wanted to start out uh the day but here we are we could have also used this bloodstained mire to find a triome and then shocked but i don't know if kelvin's playing dorks uh or aggro or whatever to pressure me hmm think I am going to shock myself in Sylvan Scrying. Keep this because we have cards that have landfall. Um, this also lets me, like I know I'm not on the strip plan. Strip is pretty bad into them developing a dork, so I'm just going to grab Saga. We're a little ways away from uh, Feel of the Dead, too. a bell okay ahoy amc how you doing just gonna play this saga it might take a little while to get going but you know we got tools oh right there's also a new north 100 showdown there's a new new north 100 showdown is live uh myself versus surge I'm on Jund mid-range, Surge is on Abzan hate bears. Oh yeah, there's a Corvold in this deck. Why wouldn't there be? Corvold is really good with Azurin Orb and friends. 
Corvold is really good. Ooh. Anime dead targets. Holy shit, we can get a <laughs> we can get a pig. Get a 2-3 pig? Box that. Yeah, there the other build that I was talking about, the like um that I wanted to build. The other build that I wanted to brew, I guess I didn't talk about it. Um is the Jund version of this deck, Wild Growth. Was this just Hoof? Hoof with Flid Hoof Boar. Oh, we're just going ham on these. That's what it is. Get it ham because there's a, a pig. This is a deck where uh, both, like, I guess my deck can just kill them. Like, we might die next turn. Ooh. Uh, I can make a blocker here. And then uh, we can... Like, I can get a Flinthoof Boar to block. Or I can make a 1-1 one -one to block. Flinthoof Boar has a bigger booty. Kind of want to take your Flinthoof Boar. I could draw a Traxa. What am I doing if I draw? Like I could draw, uh, not a Traxa, Entomb. And I can Entomb for a Traxa. <laughs> I think I want to take your point of four. Although this, so this soaks up more damage, but it leaves us a little more vulnerable to something like, um, something like, uh, well, I guess the Knight of Autumn's not showing up because of red green. Uh, but something like a Rex Age or an Outland Liberator. Now I've got a pig. Turn three Minskaboo is pretty tough, too. So if we kill them on a Malda 5, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I think that's a pretty good showing. Yeah, we're screwed by a Bosley either way. By Bosley in particular. Like if it's a a sorcery speed, blow up your stuff, then we're good. Like that's another thing to think about is that like we could make, if we, the boar soaks up the most damage, um, but it opens us up to the sorcery speed removal. If they have sorcery speed and champ removal, they're probably getting rid of the saga anyway. So we're like dying to this. Like we're, we'd lose if, if this gets got, right? This can, uh, it's minus one life to fetch to give it three toughness. So we can block kind of profitably soon we get to block, but this line also just, oh, we're playing Mind Goblin or Guacamole Goblin. Unbelievable, they high rolled the shit out of me. Haven't you had enough high rolls on this game? Want to save some of those high rolls for me? Mm. <laughs> I explained this on a very, very early North 100. Can I remind you where the moniker Tin Fins, Tin Fins comes from? Not only can I do that, but I can show you. I'll show you in a second. Finally, an excuse to watch uh, C Lab. Oh, I guess I could have fetched to save my thing, right? I wasn't paying attention. Maybe this was a bad idea. Being at one is uh, a bit tough, but we're dead to anything, anyways. 
Um, so what do I need? I can get a Triome here that gets me the most types of mana. This is this one. LED. <laughs> we are kind of setting ourselves up to getting got, though. Uh, green, green. Do I just want blue? I think I just want blue. Yeah, we're kind of signing ourselves up to get got. Um, because we're giving our opponent some cards to look at, uh, which can include burn. And I am a very uh, low health boy. Mmm. Weather the Storm's a pretty good get. That can gain us some life. I haven't played a land yet. We can also play the One Ring. And then, uh, we can play the One Ring and then Weather the Storm in my upkeep next turn. Whew. I mean, if they have Bolt or whatever, obviously it's bad. Um, Scrying doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. I think I'm on this. Oh, that's another combo. Is uh, the one ring and fast bonds pretty good? Okay, well they drew it. Mulda five. Mulda five will will do that to you. Uh, Metacast, what up? How you doing? Welcome back for the third month. Thank you for the bananas. You know I haven't eaten a banana. I guess it's not banana weather. Maybe all weather's banana weather nowadays. I said that like, um, like somebody, I said that like somebody from an era, like as bananas became more popular and available. Not, you know, somebody that was born into a world where there was always bananas available. Do bananas have weather? I think they used to. Now not anymore. Uh, I'm gonna watery grave. And try to set up Saga stuff. Also, yeah, I keep this hand. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. The banana we eat now tastes drastically different to the older bananas. Yeah. And uh, if you've ever had, like, banana-flavored medicine when you were a kid or something, um, that fake banana... The fake banana is closer to what bananas used to taste like. Oh, can't believe I'm getting punished the for my mana base. Upon this Lord of Cinder. Life is so unfair. Homebrew Dwarf, welcome back for the second month. What up? Two months of ice cream cake shenanigans. Oh, thank you so much. I am excited for this ice cream cake. It's a pricey eggs, one. Eggs, I mean, you covered most e of it. Basically, actually, you covered all of it. It's, a, it's going to be a fancy ice cream cake. The last one we had was okay, but it wasn't up to key for standards. So we got to go bigger. Jackal helps. Welcome back for the 14th month. 14 months of the clown show. I mean, rodeo. Hey, you're not wrong. Remember when this game... Remember when your opponents didn't have turn one mana dorks? I guess, like, the chance of somebody having a turn one mana dork now in... If you're on, like, double mocks, like, the chances of you having a turn one mana dork are so high. It is unreal. What am I doing? So we can make a blocker for Lelia. We could fire off this intuition. I don't know what I'm going to intuition for. I mean, I can get Zurin Orb for fast bond. I can get Zurin Orb off Saga. No, I can't get a good fast bond spread because I'm losing my Saga. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad deck to play. At least for today. I mean, I can get three reanimation cards, but I don't have, again, I don't have a way to put my Git Rug in the yard. Uh, we can get Squandered Resources. 
Buttered resources, fast bond. Could just grab like dark ritual. Kind of want fast bond. Do I have? getting this intuition they're going too fast for me um i could get i only have swords and we we could just get a bunch of rituals and then try to do something i could get children of cordless and some ri and rituals children of cordless and reanimation God, this deck is tough. And this questing beast makes it even more tough because now I can't one ring myself for safety. I'm gonna fire this off at the very least. Okay. We could also just get a series of large bodies and then hope to draw a reanimation spell. Because if we do that, we c we can just combo off if we get a reanimation spell. Just put a bunch of big idiots in the graveyard too. I mean, I think I'm dead. Like I, I can't think of a thing that I can get that can save me. This deck doesn't play regrowth anymore. Uh, fast bond. We have the one ring, but oh wait, no, you only prevent combat damage right all my damage would be dealt by creatures that control can right. so can I get like a Savine's line where I get fast bond ram and app excavator like we could grab LED Savine or sorry we could grab Savine's plus like fast bond and Crucible. And then try to do something there, because this gets around that. Uh, let's do that. Like, I don't think try to rip a... I don't think trying to rip a... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, Crucible, Sabine's... Fast bond. I don't think trying to rip a uh, reanimation spell is exactly where I want to be. Just came here for the North 100 showdown. When's the one ring getting put in baby jail? Probably not for a while. It's not actually that bad in Camrider. This card gets incredibly miserable in like lower, you know, uh, powered formats like Gladiator or um, in formats where you have multiples plus like, you know, potentially Karn, like Modern, it's kind of heinous. We were given the Savines. Oh, that's a reasonable draw. Add. We get a lion's eye. Diamond. So I didn't have enough. Sack. I didn't have enough to do both uh, to get. Um, what should I call it? Get Zurin orb, right? Yeah, didn't have enough to Zerin Orb. Okay. So how are we killing you? We could play this Gitrog. No, we can't. Um, one, two, three, four, five, plus three. So we have eight total, which means we could cast this and then flash it back. But I don't know what that does for us. We can play this, and uh, we can play another land. But I have to do it afterwards, so that's a little awkward. Ooh, boy. Um, is my line one ring? 
What's my line? One ring? One ring, tap to draw a writ. Bring back this and this. We have no cards in our hand. And three mana. I can play the Saga that gets me to four mana, but I don't have something in my graveyard. I don't have draw. <sighs> oh, I should have gotten Zurin Orb. I guess we didn't know. Oh, no, we, we I should have gotten Zurin Orb. <laughs> but then I, no, I shouldn't have gotten Zurin Orb because I don't have a way to put this in my graveyard. And I don't have enough mana. Uh, to do it because if I fuck this deck is so hard if I had gotten Zurin Orb uh, we would have been able to uh, one second sorry deck fucking sucks uh, if I had gotten Zurin Orb then we would have been able to uh, tap for three to get back Crucible, no, because we played the forest as our land. Okay, it doesn't work either way. Do I just, do I just fucking wheel and deal here? I think I just wheel and deal. Play the Gitrog monster and hope to get there. Uh, I think I die. <laughs> Ritual. 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 I could have enlightened tutored for something and then drawn it, but I don't think I have... Uh, no, we don't have stuff in our points to be able to do that. Whoops. QB Ufa Doofa. All right, we're dead. All right, we got turned forward both games. <laughs> oh, and we couldn't one ring. Damn. Well, good to know. Yeah, GG's. Good to know. Uh, Questing Beast is a bit of a nightmare. Um, should I... What did, what did I learn? Like, what did I learn from this... This intuition pile? One is that maybe we should be playing Underworld Breach because that deck... Or that card's cracked. That... There's probably a version of this that can play it as well. We were Ultra Dead in a way that Gitrog as a blocker wasn't viable. Uh, I don't think Gitrog... Playing Gitrog there is actually going to save us like it technically it lets us block a thing um and then we end up taking either four five six seven so we either go to two assuming they have nothing else and then we're dead if they get to uh death right uh and then we lose we can we, we can lose the get rock or we can keep the get rock right we can block the questing beast so that's not there so that we can uh use our one ring um or we can block the Lelia and lose our land. I don't know. I was thinking about it. Couldn't I have gotten Zern? I didn't have white mana. Or sorry, at the end there, I could have. Yes, I could have Sack Petal and Lighten Tutor find Zurin Orb. Put it on uh, top. And then drawn it. But then I, I'm still just taking four, nine, six, seven. Uh, what is it? nine ten i'm taking 12 minimum and then i have no lands like i i wanted to go for the line that could potentially kill them because i don't think i'm realistically getting another turn so i made a call to you know try and kill them uh yeah this is the updated version of that hp jumps uh i used to be mad please fight me or i could fight you again calvin whatever you want actually you know what i want that run back I want that run back. Give me that, give me that, give me that run back. You can play the same deck too, that's fine. 
<clears throat> Not the best showing <laughs> for this beautiful pile. Buddy, I only have enough rental ticks for one deck. That's fair. Ring gave us protection. No, because Questing Beast just ignores protection. Uh, oh, perfect. My Gaming Rage. Welcome back for the eighth month. <laughs> Glad to have you. Good to see you. What up? How you doing? How you been? Uh... Okay. Am I keeping this? It has all these pieces. We have a turn one crucible. We have a turn two squandered resources plus crucible of worlds. I think I keep this. My bottom base reward can help me on some turns with this, but not really here. I think I want to keep a track, so. Cat just spent 30 seconds attacking the rat on the screen. Yeah, I, you know, the amount of people that have sent pictures of rat to you getting attacked by their pets is, um, well, very high. <laughs> Verified very high. Dark Ritual. <laughs> Crucible. Zurin Orb. I'm losing out on uh, one storm by playing this orb right now, but I don't think I'm killing my opponent tom or tomorrow, uh, next turn, unless I draw Fast Bond, but Fast Bond doesn't even do it. I mean, I guess it lets me gain infinite life, which is pretty hot. Don't know if Calvin can beat infinite life. If you don't know why someone conceded a question, Beast number four is the answer uh, a good 30% of the time. Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this card makes it a pisser. I have to be very careful about my timing. Hmm. So I can miss my land drop here. I mean, when am I going to get a better turn to set this up? Tap for black, sack it, replay it, <laughs> pay two. Tap for a green, play squandered resources. I do. It's a drill of some sort. Shit, they have Ancient Tomb. Oof. No, I can combo with the uh, Field of the Dead. You just need Fastball. Although this does make it a little bit. Or Tutor. Ooh. Look, this deck is a little all-in. <laughs> but my opponent's deck is also very all-in. And if I'm not... If my opponent's playing Gruul Monsters, and if you can't really interact with the board uh, in a meaningful way, you will just die on turn four. Like, the deck is so fast. <clears throat> Although they have kind of a setup, like... The fact that they're not playing a haste creature right here uh, means that we might get an extra turn. We do have the Zern Orb that we can cash in if we absolutely have to. Um, the Death Rite Shaman is uh, posing a big threat. Nine. All in red. <laughs> oh yeah. The OG all in red with like Deus of Calamity. Okay. Mm. You know what's a card I was thinking about putting in this deck? 
Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale. Don't think... <laughs> don't think it would save us right here, right now. I mean, I can Sylvan Scrying for a redraw. Are we taking three? We're at nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'd have to sack a land if we're doing this. And we could do this. We got a blue duel here. <sighs> Underground sea. And then just try to... Oh, we can get the Chasm. Though Chasm isn't going to really... I mean, Chasm does stop it here. Maybe that's fine. Let's get the Chasm. Why is it called Tin Fins? I'll do, I'll show an instructional video after this game that will get the channel banned or muted. No, it won't, because it's going to be constructive or deconstructive. We're going to talk about Tin Fins critically. <laughs> Dave Chasm. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Chasm. Every time I go on a plane, my sinuses are extra bad. Like, they, they're already just pretty bad, no matter what. But they're extra bad anytime I get on a plane. And it always takes, like, a week or so for my... For them to get back. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm stuck here suffering, you know? Mm -hmm. Need to order some food. Need to order some food. I'm too depressed to leave the house. I hope this video can help. Oh, it should. I mean, if you enjoy watching me die. Not watching, watching me get stomped. No fucking questing beast. Fucking questing beast. Ah. Uh. Oh, the tin fins explainer. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, okay. I'm too depressed to leave the house. Gristle bees delivers. <laughs> right after P, but before R. Yeah, we're just losing to questing beast. Uh, I I stand by this hand. I think it's actually pretty great against most archetypes. Um, oh. Really? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? No, you can attack. No, you can attack. Creatures you control can't attack. We'll take it. We take those. <laughs> we take those. Oh, Kelvin, Kelvin Red Goisel Chasm as creatures can't attack, but it's actually creatures you control can't attack. So we get a turn. <laughs> Well, we get a couple of turns. I'll take these. 
This, uh, this death ray shaman, though, is a real pisser. Look, if there's anybody here that knows what questing the beast does, it's me. I've read that card way too many times. Do you know it's collector number 171? Yeah, Mulder, it's collector. It's collector Mulder 171. I really need to get a haircut, but I'm growing it out to be extra shaggy for a very, very specific reason. Who did the uh, art? Uh, Igor. Oh my fucking god! Who did this? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Which one of you? <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Oh Jesus! Oh. Can't have anything nice, Mulder. Can't have anything nice. Uh, Mista Calf, welcome uh, back for the, or welcome to the stream. I mean, you've been here before. Oh no, 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 no. This is, I'll keep it. Do I want to play this Children of Portless? I might just play it now to get a blocker down. It's not always important in the combo. And in fact, it's often better in the graveyard. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mistakaf, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for joining us. Glad to have it. Good to see you. Ahoy, Tex. How you doing? I'm not sure which word keeps be getting blocked. Are you saying sorry? S-O-R-R-Y? Get in there, children. Today was the last day of training at the new job. Tomorrow is day one for realsies. Ooh, exciting. You're gonna kill it. You're gonna kill it. I know you will. I know you can do it, Tex. I believe in you. No, I'm trying to make a joke that it's not 171 we wanted, but it's 372. Oh, it was the apology. It always is. It always is. Is apologizing an Australian band, Saws? Uh, a little bit. It's a little band. What card from the Fallout Commander decks is going to break Canlander? I mean, nothing in Doctor Who broke Canlander. Well, you only got four mana. This card is wild. It's just like... The most messed up frog might. Not this deck sucks. <laughs> the most messed up frog might. Or burning tree. Um, emissary. Well, this hand's not doing anything, so I'm going to Time Twister. Turn four has been the, like, get ready to party turn anyways. Ooh. This plus this is kind of hot. Okay. I'm going to play the Zern Orb just in case. Uh, you know. Okay. Now is the time. Please... For the love of God, don't have Questing Beast. All I'm asking is that you don't have Questing Beast. It's that easy to not have Questing Beast. 
literally the easiest thing you could do in the game is not have questing beast I, if this is questing beast i'm i'm off it oh that's kind of scary this doesn't uh, yeah we're fine hmm yeah they're slow rolling the questing beast oh no not the monkey this damage isn't that bad famous last words two four six eight nine oh yeah What did you get? I haven't got it yet. Duress? Oh my fucking god. I'm done. 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 Oh my god. All right, all right. If we, it's still, we're still okay. If we draw in tomb, <laughs> we draw in tomb. I mean, we could just cycle by playing a bunch of lands and Zurin Orbing and Splendid Reclamation. But I don't even know if that saves us. Oh, this might save. Haha. -ha. How do you like that? Six cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, plus, uh, no, eleven. Easy. Easy fucking money. There's no way. There's no way they have a. Oh, they have the rock. <laughs> I'm just fucking dead. <laughs> I'm just fucking dead. Okay, 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 okay. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal. All right? Not ideal. Have I ever, I ever find the German sign Badlands guy? No, I have not found the German sign Badlands uh, person. Um, if you're out there, if you're watching this, please, for the love of God, get a hold of me. I have your Badlands. I have your Badlands. Some choice music. Oh, Beethoven. Okay. Well, not off to a great start, but that's fine. Uh, I used to be mad. Please fight. I'm shocked no one has tried to be the Badlands guy. Uh, I mean, people are pretty... For one thing, it's only a Badlands. Like, that's a... And for another thing, that's like... I don't know. Incredibly scummy to do. If you are, if you are invested enough in what we do here to actually have heard or know about the Badlands guy, uh, or the Badlands person, um, I do think that they were he, him, but, you know, there's always, hey, who knows? Who knows? Fuck, it's been so goddamn long since they did the Badlands trade. You know, the, the life goes on. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's a pretty shitty thing to do. If you're invested enough to be in a position where you hear that conversation or that story, then, you know, you're probably not going to be like, oh, you know what I should do? Be a complete dick for no reason. What a fun way to scam somebody out of a dual land and some money. Hmm. Maybe this deck's bad. These are not <laughs> these are not the cards I want. I mean, Entomb is pretty good. Entomb is pretty good. Jar might be a bit overkill. Obviously, Children Gristlebrand is pretty hot. Um, that was so messed up, Kelvin. That I mean, I don't think this deck is particularly powerful. It's what I'd call an F and M deck, um, or like a, a thing you could play at the Discord weeklies or whatever, right? It's 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 got enough going for it that it can win you some matches you know fingers crossed but wow that was bad yeah got very stomped um i can entomb something i 
think I'm good. I can entomb life of the loam. That's sounds goofier than I think it actually is. I'm going to keep life of the loam in this deck is pretty hot. Do I want to pedal? I can go triome pedal uh, in tomb in my upkeep dredge loam and then cast loam or I could just do this the other way I can go triome untap yeah triome untap untomb uh, for loam dredge loam land this loam and then we're pretty pretty set I think I'm okay yeah Yeah, hopefully it'll be fine. Hey, hon. My turn again? They didn't do anything? Wait, what? Um, if they're not doing anything, I think I can take a draw. That's more concerning than anything. I could have taken a draw. In case they're a storm deck, I'm gonna play this. 
Children of Corliss is pretty funny because it's also very strong against Tendrils of Agony decks, which they might be. Um, or, I mean, it doesn't really do anything against Aetherflux Reservoir decks, but, you know. Tithing Needle. Jesus. Alright. Finally food. I did, <laughs> was supposed to get groceries yesterday, but I uh, was very tired. I was very tired. Uh, I don't need to do that. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Well, good thing my opponent's not doing anything. I don't actually. I'm kind of terrified of what you kept. I mean, they mulliganed. I'll take it. A win's a win. LGS in Bellingham. Oh, I know I have family in Bellingham. Posted a commander white elephant event. Build a deck on a budget and from that range. And then you uh, turn in the deck. Oh, that's cute. I like this. Any good places to play webcam can lander? Uh, that link on, to the website is going to have a link to the Discord. And there are people that play webcam can lander there all the time. <clears throat> oh, that's bad for us. Our entire deck is based around the graveyard. <laughs> but if they pop it now... They might want to find the right... They can't pop it in response to dredge. They can do it in my draw step after I've dredged. Just hit the mic for no reason. Yeah, I'm not going to fetch because I want something in my graveyard. We haven't had the uh, super explosive turns that uh, I was hoping we would hit. I can bad lands off of any of these. I'm just going to get an overgrown tomb tapped. Pretty cool. So about that pithing needle. Zero risk of questing beast? You can't say that. They might questing beast me right now. I might get got this very second. This very turn. Your deck was awarded best brew for the event. Hell yeah. What'd you build? Spirit Guide Manamorphose. Am I hard casting Grease? Oh, we didn't watch Tin Fins. Shit. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna Memory Jar. I don't know if I want to jar... Typically, you want to jar upkeep, right? You get one more card. Um, but there are certain cards I kind of want in play uh, before I jar. So I might one. wait. This is one of them. This is exactly one of them. If they counter this, I don't think I jar then I'm just jarring for nothing. 
This is kind of, this is, yeah, this is some Hot Wheels leading the way right here. Uh, Tex, thank you for gifting a sub. Oh, no. Rest down? What are they playing? Are they on, they might be on Esper Walker stacks, like Palcatraz stuff. I mean, this is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Hmm. These are good cards to have in my graveyard. Don't have any good Gorio's Vengeance targets. Um, we could just get rid of this. I think I'm going to blow up their Pithing Eel. So I can Corliss. They could be playing Stifle Knot. Who knows, right? It's all, it's all up in the air. They could be a Palcatraz list. They could be a Time Vault deck. They could be a an Academy deck, like a more controlling Academy deck. This Citadel art. We have a good Photoshop for this. Uh, thumb, yeah, thumb. Computer, find Thumbelina. Wait, no, computer, stop. Stop, computer, stop. Please stop. I'm begging you, stop. Uh, yeah. Anybody remember this? <laughs> Anybody remember this? Okay, we're untapping with six mana. We have lands and Gristlebrand in our hand. Um, it should be fine. I mean, it, it, well, we could just die here as well. But like, if we draw Gristlebrand, or draw like a fast mana and get to Gristlebrand, then obviously we're, we're in a pretty absurd spot. Uh, also, fun fact, if you're playing with Memory Jar in person and you don't know this, when you draw your, when you set aside your hand, you set aside it face down and then draw your new cards. And you can't actually look at the cards that you've set aside face down afterwards because it's hidden information. Summon a Queen Marchesa, hell yeah. And Kiora, Sovereign of the Depths. Ooh, I do like Kiora. I mean, it's a it's a fish woman. You've even got Karuga Mesh in there. Path my shouldered. Actually, this works out well for us. Little do they know. Interesting. They're running path. So yeah, this kind of pushes me towards them being a time vault deck, I guess. So why do they keep this hand? This like seemingly low playable hand. Real Karuga's got curves. Mm. All right, opponent. What do you got? What do you got? Bird? I'm okay with bird. I'm getting big Planeswalker stacks vibes here, which is another deck I'd actually like to build. Because that's a deck that I heavily associate with the uh, early Canlander streams. Oh yeah, they got to be like a Welder variant or a Time Vault deck. They got Sword of the Meek in here. Oh, hey, Rumple Nutskin, what up? Hope you have a good day at work. Thank you for stopping by. Bird with a sword. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a bird with a sword. Tapping mana, love to see it. Love to see it. We'll play again after Harju if that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Play as much as you want. The Canlander streams, you can join the queue as much as you want. We need more people to obviously get accounts and all that, but... Um... Once we get more people with accounts, then, you know, start... Uh... Start their subscription. Hashtag sponsored by Mana Traders, but also using that code... There's a coupon code there. I typed man traders. Um, no. 
uh, mana traders. I use coupon code Ben Wheeler. Uh, and then uh, the link, which I didn't update because yeah, I was busy. I was streaming. Uh, this is the referral link. Brainstorm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. I like it when you call me Grizzle Dead. No, I should have gone with Grizzle Papa. Why'd I go for Grizzle Dead? This is what uh, peak physical condition looks like when you haven't slept. <laughs> draw seven, draw seven. There's the fast bond. You have the one ring in here? Oh, I gotta scroll like this. No. Uh, sack children, Corliss, gain some life. Crack this, draw seven. Draw seven. We actually haven't hit a lot of fast now. Oh, that's that's the good one. Okay. Let's play. We can play Mox Diamond. Uh, we have Fast Bond, we have Ramanap. I didn't draw Zuranor, but I did draw Glacial Chasm. Mr. Speaker. So we can Mr. Chief Justice. play. Fast Bond. Vice President Nixon. They're dead, by the way. President Truman. Chasm. Reverend Clergy. Fellow citizens. I'm going to always yield to this right now. Not a victory of party. Because, uh, so the way this works, Fast Bond deals damage. Glacial Chasm prevents uh, damage. As well as a so I'm going to play this. Fast Bond deals damage, but then it doesn't. Well uh, I'm going to play Urborg. Fast Bond deals damage, you, but it doesn't. And God, uh, I'm going to weather the storm. No, I should go for... I should just go for Children of Corliss. Um, I could be playing like a um, Anissa before now. I do all this, but, you know, that's fine. Oh, Shallow Grave. Children is still the top creature in my deck. Great. Um... We also have a Reign of Filth in here somewhere, which will provide us with a lot of mana. We have Urborg, so all of our lands are going to tap for black, so that means we can even play our fetches. Uh, I'm going to Shallow Grave. Do we have the win? We do. We have it a couple ways. Shallow Grave. Get the children. Sack the children. Because we lost a whole bunch of life here. Uh, we get to do this. Draw seven. Draw that seven. That Draw seven. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friends no, and my cook. that the torch has been passed Play to it. a new generation of Americans born Play in this or country. Or in order. So now orb, we have fast bond, uh, Zurin orb. And Crucible. Proud of our ancient heritage. Uh, let me go grab the Crucible. Our fetch is tapping for black men is pretty hot. Crucible. So now we can generate an infinite loop where we sacrifice a land. Uh, I'm going to sack this underground sea to gain two life. Play Crucible, or play the land, get it back. Um, off of Crucible and not get dinged from fast bond for two reasons one we gain two life for every one damage we take but we also have this glacial chasm um, i'm just going to get up to enough storm so that i can tendrils i cast reign of filth that we shall i'll cast rest price. show me what you got steering bridge yeah i think they're on like a, a staxi version of um the Time Vault. Oh, the I got the, the the Children of Corliss beat down. So we all we only need to do it uh, for uh, uh, not the full drills, but you know, uh, a reasonable drills. Whose cultural and spiritual origins same target, we same share, target, same card. We pledge the loyalty of. Oh, is it? Oh no, it's the fucking kid. Sorry, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the inauguration speech. Oh, we got four, whoa, we got four minutes and 20 seconds into the inauguration. 
Oh shit. I I was too busy comboing off that I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Uh, uh, I was way too deep in the sauce. Way too lost to the sauce. Me trying to up my children. <laughs> Me. I really need to up my MTGO APM uh, because uh, my children of Corliss Gristle Branding is really sloppy. JFK in the background. Ask not what your tin fins can do for you. Ask what you can do for your tin fins. I don't have a great JFK impression. Oh, no, I want to do the calm. It's an okay JFK impression. I mean, if I, I could probably give you a bit better. I'll try to get a good one. I'll try to practice on a good one. It'll be difficult though, because like my neck, my back, <clears throat> ooh, I'll keep. It'll be a little difficult though, because my JFK impression is so informed from uh, watching Clone High as a young lad. Uh, I'm on DT strip vampiric tutor intuition. This deck might benefit from one drops too. I've the, the previous versions had some one man exile rinse in here. Agatha Soul Cauldron to give shoulder. Ooh, I like the sound of that. It's kind of hot. This always comes into play untapped or tapped, so I'm gonna play it first. <clears throat> what are my unmarked grave hits? Uh God, a lot of them. Light from the Loam, Zurin Orb, Fast Bond, Savine's Reclamation. Uh, any of these lands that I need to put in my graveyard for Crucible. Um, <clears throat> Primeval Titan, Children of Corliss. Bunch of stuff.
<clears throat> but I guess Glacial Chasm can help. We could find, we could Demonic Tutor for Glacial Chasm. Um, oh, I did that in my upkeep, unnecessary. <laughs> okay. Can I beat this Tinkered Blight Steel? No, it prevents damage, and in fact says if this creature would deal damage, it does. It does damage as this, not, um, uh, sorry, I blanked. It, it says that it deals damage in the form of this to players and this to creatures, but it still deals damage. Um... Yeah, I think I'm getting the Chaz. Let's grab the Chaz. Facial Chaz. Play the Chaz. Sorry, Field of the Dead. But you're probably not doing anything for me. Not this game. <clears throat> Is this life loss or damage? It's life loss. Yeah. Got a discard a card. Life and alone. Oh, I could discard this uh, Atraxa. I guess that would be a little easier with Shallow Grave, but we have the LED for the Atraxa already. Like, I'm going to want an LED before I Atraxa. Oh, one of these days, science will invent robot sinuses that I could put in my body. <clears throat> One day. Glacial also phases commander damage. Yeah, it prevents commander damage. Like, damage is prevented. Which means the commander damage is a no-go. My opponent questing beasts me. I'll be really pissed. Opter Foundry, okay. I like what they're doing. This is a deck that I wanted to uh, revisit as well, but it felt a little... felt like it was too close to Grixis Welder that we played last time. I want to diversify the decks. I'm going to be spending most of the time, like most of the Canlander streams, revisiting older decks and updating them too. Um, I think that's... Uh, I think that's something I like to do because it gives me an excuse to update some old decks that people ask about all the time, even if they're dog shit. The decks, not the people. The people are great. I love I love my fans. Wait, no, wrong button. Well, I don't have headphones on. I kind of have to do it from memory. Uh, I don't want to dredge. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. So we could get Primeval Titan here. Primetime doesn't actually work out the way I want it to now that I think about it because we don't have, um, uh, we don't have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, we can't attack, I guess that's what I mean. We don't have an attack stat. Uh, oh, this is going to be so incredibly annoying. Well, there's Primeval Titan. Oh, these are... You can still target me. Are they... Oh, they're going at the Blight Steel. Uh, okay. So, I kind of want to... I kind of want to... Splendid Reclamation. Like, maybe we take another turn here. Where I sack this untap Splendid Reclamation. I think that's better. I think I can wait. If I'm doing that, do I want to develop this unmarked grave? Like, develop a land through unmarked grave. We already have Feel of the Dead. Um, getting Urborg would be pretty good. I think I start with this. Let's see what you got. They have the account. <laughs> okay, that was a good hit. That Tezzeret is scary, though. Tezzeret Master of the Bridge is uh, life loss. But balance is a good hit, because I'm about to put a shitload of lands in play. 
Uh, it's actually better for me to develop the fetch land because it means more lands in the graveyard. I'm gonna put a probably another land in my graveyard. Um, we already have the Field of the Dead. We could get a Cantrip land. We could get Herborg. We could get where is this Saga? Saga is gonna be too slow. I think we're killing our opponent by that. Right? Could get strip. Don't think I need strip. I think I want a. I think I just want like nurturing peatland. Well, maybe my life total will be a little tight. I can get a triumph. I should just get a triumph.
then uh, we lose Chasm. So they have a cute line. Uh, they can sack the one ring uh, to their Thopter Foundry and get it back with Emery. So this is going to be one of those games where I got to make a loop. So I lose a bunch of life here. And then this on the stack. I draw a bunch of cards. Uh, no. Look at all these lands. There's the tendrils. Tendrils isn't really doing anything for me right now. There's Shieldred. Shieldred doesn't target. Shieldred doesn't do damage. Eggs, eggs, e -double -G -S -S. Although Shieldred and Bowmaster is a little tough. Let's see if we can break through the Bowmasters. I might now grab Loam. Okay. Because now I can loam back the... Um, the Chasm. I don't think I need this Field of the Dead. I mean, I also know that I... Can't use this bloodstained mire. Oh, I should I should get rid of the bloodstained mire because I would have to get Urborg in play, which I can't because I'm playing the Chasm, and then squandered resources only really works with um uh only really works with uh which I call it uh Urborg in play. Play squandered resources. We didn't mill or draw Zurin orb, which is a little bit of a pisser. Uh, let's shallow grave. Get this Atraxa, and then hopefully we can do something. I should technically have uh, used the colorless man off field of the dead. Okay, so we have Crucible of Worlds. We have Burnt Offering for more mana. We have Swords to deal with Light Steel, which is kind of funny. Oh, we have Fast Bond. Okay, so we have Fast Bond, Crucible, Wasteland. We have the Chasm in play. I'm just going to start calling it Chasm Swords. Okay, so I'm going to play fastball. So I'm going to lock up this game, uh, but it will take a series of game actions and I, I'm going to run out of my clock. Um, I need to, we have the fast bond, activate this. Got to keep this glacial chasm in play. This. So I can't kill them because they have pro everything, but what I can do is uh, strip. I can just get rid of their entire mana base, which I'm going to do right now. Always yield. <laughs> just get rid of everything. I can tell them what I'm going to be doing, but basically I get rid of their mana base so they have no land, so they can't complete their one ring um, plus Spire of Industry loop. 
They have their Twerian Academy in their graveyard too, which is pretty nice. Uh, now I can add infinite mana. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna play some of these lands out. Make sure. I could play Field of the Dead too. I'll play Field of the Dead. But we'll have to always ignore, always yield to Field of the Dead. Always yield. Uh, so now we can go play the Urborg. One, two, three, four. Go to play Shieldred. And I think I should... Did I take the swords? I took the swords, right? Sack this... Yeah, there's a nerd. Just a heads up, everybody. There's a nerd organ play. So what I'm going to do to explain uh, is I... So I got rid of their lands. So they can't one ring loop with the Alpter Foundry. I'm going to uh, swords their bow masters just so I can keep my board clear. I'm going to uh, get the shieldred in play. And then I am going to gain... Uh, I'm going to get the shieldred in play. I'm going to brainstorm uh, and make infinite two twos. Brainstorm, I can, I don't have a, a way to gain life in this hand, but they're, they're dead, they're dead. I can either, uh, I can brainstorm, get back the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, I sack the Indotha Triome, I brainstorm, and then I set a loop with Life from the Loam and Dotha Triome. And uh, I get there. And then I have this vamp tutor. Yeah, as long as I've gained some life, like I can find a, well, as long as I've gained enough life, I can then vamp tutor for what I really want and then draw off that. So I used to be mad was dead. Uh, and uh, that wasn't a case of like, oh yeah, sure. I guess I'll, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a case of just like, uh, you gain infinite life or whatever. It, it's, it's dead, dead. It just takes a lot of game actions on Magic Online, which is a bit of a downside to this kind of deck. Uh, GG's WPs. Yeah, I cut Blightsteel from all my academy decks. Cards, cards bad. Cards always bad. Uh, apologies for those that I'm... Oh, it's Sibwa. Uh, Sibwa, what up? How you doing? 50 months. Half a year. Wow. Thank you for all the support. We're almost at a year. I can taste it. I can smell it. It's football, baby. Um, I will play you again. I used to be mad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very quick break in the sense that I'm going to throw... Uh, tin, the Tin Fins video on the screen um, and I'm going to show it off to, to people at home that have never seen Tin Fins and I'm going to eat half of a sandwich one second uh, so this is Grizzle Breeze and uh, that's why it's called Tin Fins Oh my god, it's so loud. I am so sorry. Cal, what up? How you doing, bud? You finally watched some North 100 episodes and you're very interested in the format. Great. Glad to hear it. Got any questions or need anything? You you let me know. Also very funny to me that I'm getting very interested in the highlight at the same time you're jumping into CBH. You know... There's a lot of crossover. Playing more CDH has shown me that the formats are a lot closer than you'd think. You know, they all, they of course have their differences and their nuances. Um, but while there's a different appeal to each of them, even at the varying kind of power levels, like it's harder to really say, uh, like one is more power. I, I don't think you can actually say one is more powerful than the other. They're very like, it's different displays of power, you know? Very different displays of power. And different parameters that make certain things more powerful. Um, but they, uh, I think they actually tend to make a pretty beautiful marriage, you know? It's a nice wedding together, the, the two formats. I think a lot of CDH players would love Canlander. I think a lot of Canlander players would actually like playing CDH. There you go. 
Uh, Shane Lee Attack, what up? Welcome back for the 30th month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, Cal, if you're looking to learn anything about Canlander, the stream might not be it. Um, <laughs> because we're playing kind of a, well, it sure is a deck. It sure is a deck. We are playing, oh, Chopin's Funeral March is playing in the background. This is what we call Jacuzzi on Commission, AKA Fast Bond Tin Fins Lands Storm. It's a bit of a mess, but it's kind of a hot mess. It's what I describe as like an FNM deck where like, if you can play this, if you build this, don't expect to win the year end tournament or whatever. Um, but you know, you can expect to bring this to like a weekly or jam with friends or whatever and, and have a blast doing it. <clears throat> All right, Paiwo, you want to fight me? You want to fight me? Sure is chunk. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> um, hmm. Five on the draw. This hand is so close to doing something. I think it'd be very funny to compare and contrast CDH and Canlander because at first blush, I think a lot of people say a CDH deck is 25 points. Obviously, it's stronger, but also building a deck entirely around maximizing how many times you cast Ancestral Recall is a higher ceiling than a CDH deck ever will. Yeah, that's like Black Lotus is a fucked up magic card. And like, I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> it's not more powerful than Black Lotus most of the time. But also just like certain... Number one, it always ends up just being coming off as this weird like dick measuring contest, which is just not something that it's like, who cares? You know, like they're both very, if someone's like, what's more powerful, this or this? It's like, I don't know. It fucking depends on the day, the deck. It doesn't matter. The ceiling's higher than that. You know, it's, it's kind of unnecessary. But then, um, like, they're also like, you get more of these car if you point cards i mean points not the right word if you grade cards on a power level from zero to a hundred in canlander you get more cards that are closer to or you have cards that are closer to 100 out of 100 like a perfect score right in cdh i'm going to keep this hand by the way in cdh you get more you just get a whole bunch of copies of like uh these tutors that are kind of dorky um like enlightened tutor, you know, enlightened tutor and and um, Sylvan tutor and whatever. I mean, Sylvan tutor is probably not a, the deepest cut. Shared summons, although that's not even close to that. The, the the point I'm trying to make, I'm rambling, but the point I'm trying to make um is <laughs> just pauses. Uh, I think I want to put this and then keep that. I could do that and then have this. It seems like a reasonable mulligan to five. The point I'm trying to make is that, yeah, the top end of of, uh, of Canlander is going to be higher than CDH, but that doesn't matter, especially when you take into consideration that like your average CDH deck is going to be overpointed and then also just has access to like, you get to draw two extra cards, right? Like, it's a different kind of power level. You get certain, some of the power, like, just gets handed to you, which is not, like, which is great. 
It's not something that I, uh, like, it's something that kind of pulled me away from CDH for a long time. That was a gross thing to do on camera. That's okay. But like, I can take it for what it is. It's enjoyable. Ooh. Hmm. Well, we can turn, we can shield it or we can one ring. Um, I was on Enchantress. Go to play the one ring. <clears throat> or we could play Shieldred and then get to the one ring. Um, because I don't really need this right now. We're probably going to spend an another couple of turns developing, but this draws me into more cards to get me to this. Go to draw right away because we are a combo deck. Let's see what we can hit. All right, we hit nothing. <clears throat> You're learning a lot watching this stream already what not to do. That's a good call. Yeah. That's a good call. Don't do not do what Wheeler does. Unless it's like 20... Like, God, I don't know. 2022 Wheeler did some pretty good stuff. Um, or 2017 Wheeler. Or 2019 Wheeler. Current Wheeler, I mean, I'm just dicking about. Meat hook, get around one ring. I think it's each player loses it. So technically, yeah. Ooh, Ramanap. Hmm, well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we could develop this Ramanap excavator. It's not doing anything right now. We could Buried Alive. Also not really doing anything. Although we could draw some pretty spicy stuff. If I Buried Alive, we're going to set ourselves up to not draw these clunkers. Concussed Wheeler? No, Concussed Wheeler was like...
Quizzy Ozzy, welcome back for the third month. How are you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. Chain Lee attack, I believe I said hello. But if I didn't, apologies. If I did, uh, also how are you doing? Oh, Prime Gaming? Prime Gaming? Wow. Actively Prime Gaming. Uh, what up? <laughs> Thank you, Cal. What decks did I play with the Spike Feeders? Or uh, With the Spike Feeders, I played Tivit. Uh, who did I play? Tivit, Thrasios, Bruce Tarl. Um, that was like a... I don't even know what that deck kind of did. I mean, I know what it did at the end. Let me tell you that. Um, but it was a interesting deck. Um, oh, act, animating this. They swords my ramen app. They're not even attacking with it. They're just animating it. I played Bruce Thras, um, Tivit, and Keenan. I liked Keenan. I mean, I like Keenan. I like the Bruce uh, Thras as well. I think I'd like anything that isn't stacks. What is this? Now it's all blacked out. I'm going to keep activating this one ring. We have... Ooh. That's a pretty good magic card. Um, I'm going to unmarked grave. Oh, I have to play my land to do this. Oh, but I have a, I have a mox diamond. I'm going to unmarked grave. Put strip in the yard. Eggs, 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 eggs. I'm going to play mox diamond. Pitching basic forest. I'm going to cast Crucible, and then I'm going to strip the Sarah's Sanctum first. Just keep them off, man. I'm, this is the, the combo card. This stops my Shieldred, but, you know. Okay. I don't know if I want this anime dead. I don't really have a way to get rid of Ground Seal other than Besaju. I guess I can get rid of like the peat land because I have the crucible. Probably better to keep this. Uh, Yuriko's wife, welcome back for the 36th month. My Yuriko's wife. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you, good to see you. Surge plays Griffin deck? No. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna see you try to figure out a null lines. Fun.
folks like it makes sense but folks that are not uh involved in that aren't like full-time content creator or whatever um they always assume that we put a huge emphasis and planning on one aspect but not another when but it's like the reverse right so it's like they assume that so much planning goes into the specific kind of like we need to do this for our stream because our audience watches this and because this is hot and this does this when when in actuality it's just like so what does anybody what do people want to do any idea also i think i got a bulk in this one lander sheesh uh ooh, i can keep this i think we can enlighten tutor for led which sets up shallow grave but then i'm not getting anything maybe maybe that's enough i could also find crucible I could find a one ring I don't know what I want to enlighten to. Fast Bond's also a good get. Um, I could just bin Shallow Grave. Uh, I actually don't. Let's try this. Kjart, welcome back for the fifth month. What up? How you doing? How you been? Glad to have a good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. Oh, Twins Basil. Yeah, people, people that watch Lure, they tend to watch us because they like us as people and us as people that interact with each other right like you look on every north 100 showdown and one of the top comments is always like it's nice watching ben and surge play because it feels so natural and it's like well yeah because we know each we've known each other for like over a decade and have been playing canlander against each other for over a decade like oh shit Oh, they're, they're fast, but that's a good draw. Uh, <clears throat> Let's do that. Yeah, so we can play whatever, right? We could get, I mean, I'm sure we could find enough people to sit down and play a proper CDH game. And I think people would like it. It would just, I, I, my recommendation would be if we were doing that, make sure people like watch some guides and, you know, look through uh, how to play and familiarize yourself with the deck instead of like, I just built this. I just built this. Oh, the Kevin McLeod.
violently even. Violently even. Uh, Preter Violet, welcome back for the fifth month. What up? How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for those support. I think we're saying the same things. Uh, I guess, yeah, if I, if I cavemaned it, uh, fast, uninteractive game, not bad for lure in particular. Not even bad for content in particular. Uh, might not be great for... <laughs> Fuck. I saw somebody mention Kennedy. Might not be great for stream audience, though. Mm. You could just cast Shieldred. They have Sylvan Library and Eidolon. Like, that sounds hot. Although they do have a pretty groovy line. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna play Shieldred. Because if I get Shieldred out here, we can Crucible... We can Crucible and then go, uh, we can draw our deck with uh, Waterlog Grove. Uh, oh wait, no, we can't because we don't have a way to put the other. Because we draw a card and we, we take two. Also having all these shocks is a little nasty. But... <clears throat> Wasn't talking about other people's content or pre-records. Neither am I. I'm confused. What are you saying before damage? You said, you said, weren't I just saying super fast games weren't good for content and lure specifically? I'm not talking about CDH in general. And then I said, no, I don't believe I said that because I don't believe that's true for this reason. Didn't you pose this question? Should I turn up the music to drown us out again? <laughs> Would that work? We got a bunch of draws where we could just win the game here. Um, assuming we get to untap. They are at five. They're at five, there's a shieldred in play, and Idolin is a mandatory draw. My first comment was this there's an audience for super fast CDH, and some alert audience falls into that, but not enough that I think they wanted to put an entire stream to it, especially Hallmark One. Which is which my response to that is uh I disagree. <laughs> I believe that there is an audience to watch whatever we do. And yeah, the bullshit that we do on Friday Night Paper Fight could be whatever. Somebody pitch me a bat. Tell you what, we got a planning meeting tomorrow. Somebody pitch me something that we should do for a stream. Something, what's, what's something that's heinous that we could realistically get together?
GG's. WP's. I shouldered into strip lock to go turn five. Turn five. That's a that's a lot of turns. Uh Harju, please fight me. You liked my deck name for Beach Lander? Same also. I wish that I could have I wish that I could have just called it, you know, free Palestine. Or at least like the free RL Stein books. <laughs> or whatever I was trying. I could have? No. I was told that was probably a bad idea to be so direct. <laughs> and I didn't want to cause more shit for people right there. People got what I was saying, which was funny because I saw some people get knocked out of, uh, what should I call it? Like I, I changed my name, the deck name to fuck apartheid, which was very clear <laughs> what I meant. And there were still a couple of people that were like, Oh, so is this, uh, is this anti, uh, like, oh, this is cool. Just having an anti-Semitic name. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Buddy, the stance is fuck apartheid. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus. Anyways, remember folks, you can be critical of uh, the state of Israel and its government and its decisions uh, and uh, crimes upon the Palestine people uh, without it being anti-Semitic. That's not the same thing. I think saying stuff like, hey, it's bad to bomb hospitals and kill civilians should not. Now, this is my controversial take. I don't think that should be a controversial take. We drew a fast bond and we can kind of go ham on this field of the dead. If I can turn one field of the dead, it'd be very fun. Uh, so I go, I'm taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. <clears throat> oh man, Twitter has been, well, I mean, Twitter has been awful because I don't like, I don't think the human, I don't think the human brain should be exposed to such constant misery and, and and i mean fuck there's just so much propaganda out there that is just like hey uh take a look at all these people that are just getting killed it's like what the, i you know don't exactly want to look at that it's very cool that this just runs around without there being any kind of censorship or uh any kind of like even like a basic like spoiler tag of like don't well not spoiler tag but you know what i mean um <clears throat> Uh, what do I need? I have black. I have a lot of black men. I think I need tropical island. Here. Uh, I got a brainstorm. Sibwa's philosophy is that it's good when good things happen, bad when bad things happen. And your second philosophy is that you're not a fan of ethno states. Yeah, they're not great. Um. could bin these two and then just play out all of our lands I don't actually need to play out these other lands I'm a little worried about prismatic ending so I think I'm going to play out these I could develop the tireless provisioner here maybe that's worth it uh, I need blue that gives us double white we don't have enough black I kind of want scarlet Scrubland is already in play. We can get Badlands. That gives us red as well. Yeah, let's get the Badlands. Okay. Turn one. How's Canlander going? Oh, pretty good, Plachow. How are you doing? Is it playing Eisenhower's address now? No, it's not. <laughs> Thanks for indulging you. Anytime. Yeah, just let me know if you got any questions or anything like that. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for the hangs. Man. All right, great. 
We get to start making zombies. Food token. Um, I don't think I want to crack this just yet. I can, I can take it a little slow. I should have taken a snapshot of that turn one. It's super cool and normal that your nation's government pays so much heed to the opinions of the leaderless abyss cult on matters of foreign policy. Yeah, it's great. I, uh, I love... <sighs> that doesn't do anything. I could sack this to try and hit a land. I mean, we can hit a land which makes another zombie, or we could hit a, a good card. That's a good card. They're gonna make a 3-3? Three, three. I'm just gonna pass. Reanimate, targeting Brainstorm. I'm a little curious as to what they're gonna get. They have, I think Star, they could, this could be a, uh, a Time Vault deck. Yeah. Okay. That I like. That I can see. Kiefer once said that Mulder would listen to Taylor Swift she's a wine mom. because Mulder's a wine mom, and I didn't take kindly to that comment. However, uh, Kiefer then came in and said, "Actually, I think Mulder. I take it back. Mulder would listen to Maroon Five, and yeah, absolutely." Yeah. Maroon 5 still. Like, she's, she's still listening to her. Like, she got into it on Songs About Jane, which is a banger of an album, and then stuck with every, like, follow-up, which was just like, oh, this keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And Mulder's like, I just love Adam. I love, <laughs> I love Adam. I love Adam. I love Adam. Gotta take this, uh, Crucible. Oh, I should have cracked my food. All right, good. How much wine does Mulder drink? Currently zero, but it would be funny if she drank more. So our mana situation is a little interesting. If we draw a, <clears throat> so this, this can go infinite. Um, we, oh, we don't have Fable Passage in this deck anymore. I mean, we got some we got some cool stuff cooking up here. Play a crystal. <laughs> Come on, crucible. Come on, Crucible. If they have like a force, uh, it's pretty bad for us. Like, I don't think I can beat getting forced here. Because we're just not doing anything with our turn. What's in the tank on this one? What controversial take from me. I think Apartheid and Genocide are both bad. Not a big fan of those. Slowest way of generating infinite life. Maybe they have like a spell pierce. They're wondering if they want a spell pierce just to like tie my mana up a little bit. If they have a spell pierce, it's pretty good information because then that leads me to believe that they are a time vault deck. Because like if they're playing all these cards plus something like spell pierce, Oh, they could have swords. Swords is pretty bad. We get to make a board of zombies, which is pretty nice, but... Mm. Always yield to that. Uh, I'm going to make a food token. Oh, I should have stacked these differently. 
Now we have always yield. I guess I can always yield to this too. Treasure. Fetch. Uh, what's the other one again? <laughs> I already forgot. Uh, Misty Rainforest. So that's green blue. Is there any the Godless Shrine? Uh, no, we're pretty we're pretty good. It's just Godless Shrine, but I don't really want to get Godless Shrine just yet. Get this. Treasure. It's Bradenburg Concerto number four. Yeah, I get to make uh, infinite zombies. They're not infinite, right? Um, because play, I could play this, play this, make a treasure, make a treasure. I'm gonna run out of lands. Like I run out of fetchable lands here because I would need to get treasure, treasure, food token and have three lands come into play, right? Uh, not yet. I can just draw, I can draw a shitload of lands. Like I can draw my deck for, f I can draw my deck, but it's a little awkward and not infinite. Yeah, I'm basically clearing out some stuff so that I can then uh, start silent clearing and doing so with I think it's I think it's better for me to uh, thin my deck but not the kind of not the way that people might be thinking <laughs> thin my deck in the way that um, you know is actually just I'm removing these as draws yeah no I can't do it uh, coming to the yes Plachow. I think there's a group of us that are coming, uh, planning on going to it. Yeah, we take damage from the fetch. We need Fabled Passage for this to work, to be infinite. Um, because I'm, I'm not going to have enough. Like, it's, I lose two. I lose life on the fetching, and I lose life on the other thing, on the uh, fast bond. Oh, he's got the zoomies. Great. You can hear Mulder going like, oh, whoa, 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 in the background. <laughs> Treasure. He's coming from Vic? Uh, I think... Let me do this in a way that doesn't dox myself. I think it was hopefully going to be myself, Robin, Mike, Jack, Thomas, um, maybe Tim and Matt, at least. Did Matthew want to go? Adam might want to go. Yeah, I mean big talk but also we gotta we gotta see <laughs> these canlander players they're all talk i mean we're we're hungry people went there was a nanaimo tournament that was like a lot smaller than people thought it would be but they were still like hungry they're just like yeah i'll make this i'll make the like two and a half hour drive <laughs> to like go you know, and play canlander <laughs> against some of the people that i could play normally Can I, can lander players are uh, you know? Let me let me get your confirmation on this, Calvin, on how how many people we at least got going because you know it'll be fun. I bet we can convince some other people to go out to it too. Uh, Sla Slagyo, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing and joining us. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. And may I say, good to see you. Okay, let's eat some food. this
and then we can draw wow <laughs> here we go bow masters that's kind of funny doesn't really do anything Okay, here we go. Now we can... So now we can generate infinite zombies. Because now we play a strip, make a food. Strip their land. Play a strip, make a treasure. Strip their land. Play a strip make a uh, treasure and then we strip our own strip so then we're back with strip in the graveyard and we gain three life and we get infinite zombies this way all right Hey, Wheeler, have I read the short fan-made Columbo Frazier crossover yet? No. But uh, would it shock you to find out that that's extremely up my uh, alley? Yeah, you strip your own strip. Yeah, I'll, I'll showcase it. You want to show the stream more lines? Uh, yeah, give me like two min. Uh, it's been posted in the discord like four times i was working i was working okay so you play strip here's a cool thing about strip wait 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 come back here hey 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 yeah i know you're a big baby yeah here. Walter does not want to hang out. <laughs> uh, played the strip, and then you can actually strip itself. Yeah, you can activate strip mine targeting itself. So you you play, and then now we do this three times. Twice gets treasure, one gets food. Plays outside. So we can make infinite zombies. <clears throat> We can also make, um, can I do infinite mana here, right? Play a land, tap it for one treasure, play a strip, strip the or original land treasure. Oh, right. And I can, okay. Yeah. So I can make infinite mana and draw my deck without dying from strip plus uh, clearing with zombos. So I can just draw my deck here. Because <clears throat> I play the silent clearing, uh, make a treasure, or I, I, I make infinite mana by playing my land, make a treasure, playing my strip, make a treasure, stripping my, uh, tapping my, my first land for mana and stripping it. So both go to the graveyard and then playing the strip mine again for the food and stripping itself. And then I crack it, crack my two treasures to eat the food. Great. That's not bad. Turn four. Pretty, pretty all right. Pretty all right. Way to not be asked, active in the Discord. Unbelievable. So rude. Can't believe you'd even say that. Oh, I'm gonna mulligan. again. Ooh, this hand's great. Oh 
although, <clears throat> excuse me, we either lose our children to Corliss or a Splendor Reclamation. Um, I think I'm, or we could just lose, we could bin the children. I'm going to bottom the children and then Chrome Mox a Splendor Reclamation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ate that sandwich way too fast. And now I'm paying for it. Gridian. <laughs> Good name. What up? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining us. My camera seems really blown out too. Not because I'm wearing a white sweater. I think I, think I mucked my settings. This is fine. <laughs> this stream doesn't count. I'm still tired. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Want a run back? You got it. <clears throat> they mulligan to three? Holy. Pfft. All right, well. Look, I feel bad for them, but, you know, I'm still a magic player. I'm <laughs> still going to wasteland them. Howdy. First time catching a stream straight from North 100. Oh, glad to have you. Do I ever find myself doing your streamer bits? Oh, that was that would have been a better one to, to strip. In hindsight, they could still win this. Oh. Oh. So I'm going to entomb for life from the loam. And then I'm going to play Chromox on Splendor Reclamation, bring back life from the loam. Okay. I mean, that's kind of a cool aspect of this deck, right? We were able to pivot to a specific plan based on, like, obviously our opponent mulliganing contributed to that. But... We recognize, like, oh, shit, they came to game. We don't need to make turbo constructs right now. Zer and Orb in the graveyard, huh? Also, nice thing about Canlander is that, you know, I'm not a monster. I'm just playing the game. I think I'd rather hit Academy here. If they draw an artifact land, they can like slam a Kappa cannon here. <laughs> Wheeler memes harder than everyone else in the Discord. Thank you. Although the Discord goes pretty hard. We were really uh, both impressing and kicking Crim's ass. They scrying for Razor Tide Bridge. Just getting something indestructible. Um, I'm going to dredge this because I really like the idea of keeping them off. Uh, there's a Glacial Chasm too. Really love the idea of keeping them off double blue. The saga starts, you know... <laughs> Pushing our game plan forward, though. But I'm also not upset to fill my graveyard with cards. It's kind of this deck's whole plan. The bridge, obviously, we can't blow up because it's indestructible. Uh, we don't have anything... Too exciting in our graveyard. Zernorb is okay for Savine's Reclamation. There's a Nissa, which is pretty good to reanimate. The three mana Nissa. Uh, no loam for me, thanks. I'll play Nerza Saga. Okay. Yeah, the Lotus Cobra Nissa. Yeah, the Caramel Donson one was great. That was powerful. Good memes. 
All right, I was I, I said that I would do a, a stream where I or not a stream a thread where I would just share every picture on the weekend. Ooh, anchor to reality. Holy shit! So they can get big ship or cauldron complete. They got Shorakai. Ooh. All right. They're gaming. See, this is why I was trying to attack the mana. Wonder if I can get Kibler to play Canlander. If I ever go and film a commander at home, you know I'm gonna bring a couple of decks. I bet he'd like Naya monsters. Okay. So Loam isn't gonna cut it for the game plan, so we gotta start drawing into something else. I mean, we can keep, <laughs> we could keep on, um, you know, making constructs. It's a little slow and they're going to draw into it. Like they might win this. <laughs> Hello, yes, I am indeed max clearance. Though if this is asked on a, a lure stream, I'm going to deny it up and down. How's max clearance doing, by the way? Hitting needle. I'm going to make a car instruct and I'm going to fetch the polluted delta because you're not going to get me. I'm not so I'm not some chump. You could just pithing needle. Oh, that's not bad. 21,000 views in a day. People, the people love max clearance. Who doesn't love max clearance at the trial? It's nice having the, the rebuy, but you know. Your name Saga versus Saga. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we had Kibler on a PPR, I would be able to actually flick my cards, which is great. I don't really get to do that anymore. Uh, certain orbs in the bid. We can get LED. We could just get Mox Diamond just to accelerate us. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Mox Diamond. Kind of want to find some action here. That's pretty good. Make, it makes our current struck pretty big. <clears throat> Do people not like it? It's bad for the camera. It's bad to pick it up. But I am a big like... Oh, these are unsleeve. Not nearly enough cards. You need the like... Do I have sleeve cards? Oh, I have this deck. Yeah, people, it, it just gets picked up on the mics too much. But you know, like, even this, like, which is not that fast. But it's part of the, it's the best part of the game. <laughs> yeah, the best part of the game. Uh, they just get to make a blocker every turn, so attacking's not great, but they don't have good attacks, so I guess I should start attacking. Yeah, there's a, there's a card market, like ASMR 24 hour long video <clears throat> of people flecking their cards. Yeah, we're trying to get all new 
All new people for PPRs. There's a lot of new blood in the in the magic game, right? Gotta showcase the community. They could have counter magic though. I'm uh, trying to get a grasp on what kind of deck they are. I don't want to do that. Ooh, that's a good draw. It's a pretty good draw. Uh, I don't think I need to play it just yet. Let's go, six, six. Clap, 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 clap. What's the best resource to learn max? I don't know, practice? I don't know if it's necessarily a thing that you look into, like, to do it, you know? It's a thing that comes naturally. Maybe if you find yourself, like, you need something to do with your hands when you play, then sure, go off. Reach, W. Uh, welcome back for the third month. Funny words go here. Oh. Uh, thanks for the sport. Glad to have you. Good to see you. I have to get that competitive edge. Oh, shit. Hmm. A two drop. Time vault? Time vault. We can pressure the, the Tesserit here. Or we could just kill them. Glacial Chasm is pretty eggs, good at killing them. Eggs. E -double -G -S eggs. Glacial Chasm. I'm not drunk. Oh, hell yeah. All right. There's no Besaidu in my graveyard. Uh, well, we get a redraw. <laughs> da -da -da. Come on, not land. <clears throat> we do have a lot of lands in our deck. I, I, I'll be the first to say that. I'll be the first to admit we got a lot of lands in our deck. No, there's only 38. Yeah, this card is messed up. Like, I've let this card basically unmulligan them, you know? Jorkai is the real deal. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Uh, I don't need to discard anything. Any caramel making tips? Uh, keep it moving. Bourbon makes for really good caramel. Make sure you have the proper equipment. <clears throat> like they don't have a key yet. They might find one off Ponder. But if they go like land fabricate for key, it's pretty bad. Land word of invention for key untap. Dealing it with no milk. Oh, okay. You could use like oat milk, probably. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, so they pondered and they did say what happened. They did not shuffle their deck. Interesting. So we're either dead or they found a way 
Maybe they're maybe they're like, well, I don't want to run the risk of like finding anything, of like whiffing. They got the key in the yard and Emery. Hmm. They might not have a way to get rid of glacial chasm. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, no, coconut, don't use coconut milk. Goat milk is, that's where the money maker is. Ooh, wow, wow. Okay. Bolus is sitting. Oh, they have force of will. No, oh, fuck. They play force in their deck. Well, we can still kill them. Scrubland, Shieldred. Well, okay. uh, I mean, technically, I have a draw. A lot of lands. One on a mull two three. <laughs> Holy shit. Shorakai really I mean I didn't have pressure. We drew uh, quite a few lands here. Um Yowza. Very yeah. Still impressive. I mean it's a mull to three, right? Hmm. Mm mm mm. I'm going to keep. Although we don't have white mana for enlightened turn. Well, the wastelanding them doesn't actually do much, right? Because it's just like neither of us actually took additional game actions when we are wastelanding, right? I'm not progressing the board. They're not progressing the board. I'm not progressing my draw. They're not like... Not to take anything away from them. Obviously, this is incredibly impressive. I'm just saying. It's one of those like, oh, pog moments more than it's like, oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Magic the Gathering. It's a game we play. Uh, Personification, welcome back for the fourth month. What up? How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Uh, and Lesbian Punk Pyromancer, welcome back for the 23rd month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. It's a long ass time. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, basically. Mm. Come on, draw a white source. Okay. Now we need to draw a white source and uh, not do anything for a turn. Splendid Reclamation can only add a mana of uh, that the sack land could produce. So we can't like sack a land and then... Fairy's kind of annoying. Not the, not the end of the world. are an orb all right you got it opponent you got the counter spell you got a thing weren't they just dead huh how are they just dead Oh, fuck. Right. Because I developed the Raman app and then I go land, land. Uh, yeah, they were dead. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, well, I can't pay the one for Raman app because of Teferi. Like, it's going to, um, like, fucking, like, it's a sphere of resistance. 
No, no, I knew they had the, uh, the force of negation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Mistakes are made. Oh, please do not time vault me. Oh, my God. Actually, this lets me play around days. Checkmate atheists. <laughs> I can play around days. And mana leak. Don't you dare have a force of will. Don't you dare have a force of will. Uh, so if this resolves, it's infinite life, infinite mana. And then we get to cast our deck with Bolas' Citadel. Opponent tanking on this. <clears throat> what are you doing? Too bad. Transmute artifact. They get to find Pithing Needle, if they have it. Instant speed transmute artifact for Pithing Needle. They don't have a blue if they get Aether Spell, Aether Spell Bomb. They could have like a Neil Spell Bomb or a Relic of Pachandas type card. They could have Portable Hole, yeah. What you put in the hole, the Fast Bond? Yeah, that's fair. All right, well, we could have won the game. Kicking myself for not just killing you last turn. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, we broke Transmute Artifact. Ooh, this is a good sign. They're using their turn to make a construct. Might not have Pithing Needle. They have Voltaic Servant, so they already have access to an untap. Mana Vault's pretty hot. The Orb? They've drawn the orb. You can untap their mana ball. That's kind of hot. Puts an influence counter on Kyalgian tier. Okay. Magic Online really cannot uh, deal with the axe. There's an I thought there was an accent in Palantir. Okay, well, let's play a big citadel. Big citadel. They can just uh, Teferi us if... Ooh, that's a good start. Ooh, that's a good start. Ooh, that's a good start. Uh, I want this. Back from my graveyard. Treasure. Uh, play this. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. Treasure. 
If I'm going to play any land, I should have played that one. Why did I play that land? Shit. That's not great. Um, so I'm going to hold control and cast this, then hold priority and fetch like a 5-3. I'm gonna get a trop. That's a good land to hit. Uh, I'll make food. And then I'm going to float green and a white. I'm gonna Zurin orb myself. Make an army. bring them all to play uh i'm not gonna do that i got a whole bunch of things here uh, food token food token food token food token food token treasure token um Oh, you know what I could have done? You know what I could have done? I think I could have killed them. I think I uh, cast his face reward, sack a bunch of things to my... Oh, no, I think I'm a little short. I could... Oh, I could sack the Ramanac. I think I could have killed them. Yeah. I think I could have killed... Yeah, I definitely could have. I could have... <laughs> Killed you a second time, Lamau. <laughs> the Citadel can sack itself, yeah. Ooh. That's a pretty good hit. That's a great hit. Unfortunately, we can't, like, hold priority and do something because of this Teferi. Um, get myself a silent clearing. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, treasure. This can get back. I should use it to get back the silent clearing at the very least. I don't care if I draw the Savines. Thought sees you. What do you got going on there, champ? Oh, we hit the Tatiova. All right. We're Gucci. We're, we're mostly Gucci. The rest. Uh, I can... Got the silent clearing that brings it back. That also just draws me a shitload of cards. Gonna add a bunch of mana here. Uh, going to <laughs> sack the ball to the Zurin orb. And we're gonna Splendid Reclamation. I guess I can always yield to these. Always yield. Always yield. Aren't y'all glad Canlander's back? <laughs> hey everybody, it's time for Canadian Highlander. Woo! I mean, hold on, hold on. Oh shit, I'm gonna crash magic online. I don't fucking know. Just get on the stack, dude. I, 
hope this showcases some of the strength of the deck in that uh oh yeah i hope it showcases some of the strength of the deck in that we missed killing them twice and we still get to do this Ooh, primeval titan I'll just kill them <laughs> Hi Mr's Bobble how you doing GG's, WP. That Mulder 3 was sick. That <laughs> was pretty great. Uh, Mistress Bobble, back for the seventh month. Just got back from getting my hair dyed. How's the jacuzzi going? It's going good. It's going or It's going pretty good. It's going about how, how much I plan. You know how I plant? Like you win some, you lose some, you get to do degenerate stuff. You know how it is. Uh, Kelvin, please fight me. Yeah, Shorakai is absurd. That card is so good. I can't believe I had it. Uh, I can't believe I wasn't playing that card in Jeskai Walder for so long. That card just ends people's games. Including the one, your games. It ends your games because you're killing people. Uh, what color did you get your hair dyed, Bobble? Wait, this hand doesn't even do it. <laughs> I looked at it and I'm like, ooh, yeah, and then it does nothing. Uh, Ahoy, red herring. Thank you for the 29 months. Hey, we were saying you Discord message, no rush, gotta run, had fun. Oh, uh, I'll take a gander of that after the stream. Thank you for uh, the kind words and all the support. I feel like the reanimator package could be tweaked a bit and I'll keep this mm. lavender purple Ooh. so we could we could save this waste for whatever it is they find off map, which is probably going to be an academy deck. Or, well, Tolarian Academy. They are an academy deck. Um, but I think I want to use it here in case they have like the two land map hand, which is pretty common for academy deck to keep. Um, and then I can, I can ponder. I mean, I'm slightly behind on this because I can't, they get an activation of their academy. If I want a Sylvan Scrying, but I, I think I like that better. I, I like the try to catch you on a greedy air. You T Ford me like four times in a row. What do you mean, root? Okay, let's fire off this bunker. Hmm, Dance of the Dead, Thalion, Flooded Strand. I'm not into any of this. Hmm. <clears throat> That's a good hit. That's a good hit. You got a crop rot? Oh! See, I'm glad I used wasteland. Mm. My hope is that they spend this turn developing and then we got to IOK one of their draw sevens. I also kind of want to figure out which version of an Academy deck they are. They could be a Time Vault deck. They could be uh, Paradox. They could be Eggs. Bunch of options here. 
All right, catch you later, you used to be mad. Have a good one. Someone for Discord has to get the Ws. Calvin's up, Calvin's from the Discord. Calvin washed me. Shorakai is a fun CDH stack. Isn't Shorakai stacks? Brainstorm. Good dawn convertible. <laughs> oh, they're eggs. Ooh, okay. Uh, this makes the hand attack a little worse. But I still think I'm going to hand attack here. <sighs> They're playing eggs. Holy. Uh, so I could take their scrappy T. They have transmute. Shit. Uh, transmute, Lotus. That's not going to do anything. I'm going to take their scrappy T. Do I want to reanimate their scrap troll? No. Because they can transmute for Aether Spell Bomb and that. That's what they're doing. I want to see what they develop before. Oh, is it on a new song? I gotta figure out. When it's classical music and you hit like a crescendo, it's hard to balance it. Also, I'm a bit quieter today than normal. Oh, and I mucked the when I mucked the volume for C Lab, I didn't uh didn't adjust it back to what it should be. There's a lot of factors contributing to this. <laughs> I've got Freedom by George Michael stuck in my head. Calvin's got a hell of a turn. Um... They have Transmute and Face Reward. So they can Transmute, Tap Academy, Filter Through Egg, Transmute the map for Lotus. Then they can Lotus. Uh, Lotus for Retriever doesn't do anything. They're really hoping to have that Scrappy T. Got the Kennedy inauguration stuck in my head. Yeah, I hope playing dead Kennedys didn't get our VOD muted. Always blame the streamer. I mean, usually I didn't take it that way, Mr. Bib, so you're good. Um, obvious. But like, usually it's the people that are like, dude, your music is way too quiet. I can't hear you, and you're too quiet as well, or you're too loud, and it's like, what? It's, okay, well, how are you listening to the stream? They're like, oh, well, I'm doing the dishes right now, and I'm listening to it on my old iPhone that has its speakers blown the fuck out, and I also got some waters in the speakers, you know, for doing the dishes. You're just like, oh, okay, uh, great, thank you. We'll figure out a way to get this. One second. While, while Kevin's comboing, I'm going to grab the cat.
Sarah drinks water. Welcome back for the 25th month, quarter of a year. Thank you for thanking me. It's great to be thanked. Oh, it's thanks to be thanked. Thanks. Okay, we got the Lotus. <clears throat> we passing? Hmm. I might value... Um, I might value pop off that face ward. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> Dance Macabre? Mud stuff. That's who it uses it. It's mud stuff. Hmm. That's a pretty powerful draw. So we could scrying for um we can summon scrying for land destruction, strip on the academy. And then we can force them to use their uh face reward. Which is okay, but I prefer to try and kill them. So I think... <clears throat> hmm. We could just Intuition. I could Sylvan Scrying for a land. We could Sylvan Scrying for Strip. I actually don't hate Sylvan Scrying for Strip Pass. I think I like that better than Saga. Uh, it's dance, dance macabre. I had, I definitely b -b 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 that dance macabre by Kevin McLeod. Cloud. God, I can't wait till I can cut my hair. Okay. <clears throat> so they have face reward in hand and two unknowns. The reason I didn't strip there is because I'm trading strip for their face reward and I would rather set up Burrito Live Reanimate. <clears throat> we have their scrap trawler out of here. So that bodes reasonably well for us. But maybe, oh, that's a big old back crack. Oh, the jar. Oh, now is the time. Uh, oh, is now the time to do this? Now is the time to strip their academy. when they don't have mana. Even if they are island cycling. <sighs> okay, so they're island cycling. What can I get? I can reanimate something, but like, I don't know how good it is. I don't have anything else going on, so I don't know how exciting a reanimate target would be here. I'm just gonna hit this academy. The academy is pretty scary when they go into a jar turn. Ooh. We can do this. That was a very good draw. Still don't think I want to reanimate this scrap trawler.
Hmm, interesting. Told that jar to make like a tree and leaf. The loser glimmer void too. <clears throat> you come across a jar inside of a man. Do you let it out? I think I'm just going for the Atraxa line. What did I draft? Oh, Snake Pope. I'm playing Canadian Highland. We can get Crystalbrand, Children of Corliss, Atraxa. And then I think I want the Grizzness. I don't think I want to draw cards just yet. I mean, I could. All Magic Online looks the same. Yeah, there's a Corbold in here. I could have reanimated a Traxa. I think given that I know they don't have much going on in their hand. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, Oko. Ah, all right. Well, let's draw seven cards. Oh my God, I hate stupid Twink so much. Ooh, I hate that twink. Mm. I can animate dead the Atraxa and see if that gets me anything. Yeah, let's let's do a little popping off as a treat. Like, we still have Yogg Bargain, too. But I don't think I'm going down that road. Bargain into Animate Children? I'm at two. I can weather the storm, yeah. Uh, ooh, Fast Bond, Lotus Petal. Reign of Filth, Twister, Black Caddy Mac Daddy with the hoe up in the back. So, and we'll save that every time. Uh, Savines lets us get... <sighs> Savines or Twister? Huh? Okay. Or washed. Like washed, washed. Uh, and then Tatiova does it because we have fast bond Tatiova uh, done. Lotus petal. <laughs> Play late. Play fast. Order the triggers so that we Tatiova before we fast bond. Dark Virtual is an okay draw. Dark red. 
Rain of Health. Uh, I guess technically I should. I want to be very careful. <laughs> Sack data mana. Sack data mana. Crucible. I'm going to weather the storm because I don't want to misclick. Like, I really don't want to misclick, so I'm just going to weather the storm. So now we have Fast Bond, Crucible, Tatiova. Um, and we need, and we have the Savine's Reclamation. So what I'm going to do is uh, play, oh, and we have a Wasteland too. Hey. I've got loot. <laughs> so I, <clears throat> I'm going to blow up. I'm going to play my wasteland, blow itself up, and I'm going to continue to draw, and then I'm going to tendrils my opponent. And it doesn't matter if tendrils is the last card of the deck. Cool. Sheesh. Burnt offering vamp tutor. Ooh. All right. Oko is Oko is definitely more of a twunk. The word twink has also just lost all meaning. Is this vintage? No, Amp 3. It's uh, Canadian Highlander. Undercard Singleton, 1v1, uh, no side... Oh, hold on. Let me get this out of the way. I, I won my super jump. 1v1, no sideboards, no commanders, no companions, except for the ones in your deck and the friends you make along the way. And there's no band list, and so we use a points list, which means you can play some broken cards, uh, like Power 9 or Demonic Tutor or Strip, uh, but you only get so many. And I'm playing a Fast Bond Storm deck. It's cool. It's a lot of fun. Pick what your favorite thing to do in the game is and uh, do it for the rest of your life with power. Or not. Power is not necessary for this format. <laughs> Getting points on your driver's license. Commander Zelgo D, welcome back for the 28th month. What up? Gotta get some Canlander love in. Cool first time heard about it. Uh, if you want to watch more of it or want to hear more about it um there's actually a series that we do for youtube called north 100 showdown uh and a new episode just dropped today uh featuring myself as one of the hosts uh and the episode today is jund midrange versus abzan hate bears oh no i clicked the button that makes obs really hate me there you go. There's the episode from today. There are, there's like 20 episodes available. There's a year end. If you search Canadian Highlander, you'll be able to find a bunch of information. I highly recommend it. I'm a little biased, but uh, it's great. <laughs> All right, peace, Surge. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> like I'm not going to I'm just going to slow develop my mana here. I'm doing pretty all right, Blondie. How are you doing? North 100 Showdowns are literally my favorite content on the internet. Glad of it. We like making them. They're super fun. People like watching them. Um, and yeah, it lets me bully Surge and get paid for it. Yeah, Surge's Hate Bears list is, you know, it's a Surge list, but it's not as much of a Surge list as, like, the Blue-White Tempo. Oh. Kelvin's got a Fast Bond turn. They fabricated up Scrappy Doo. Um, eggs. This eggs. isn't going to help. I'll play a polluted delta. I might 
just try to storm them out next turn? Like, our storm is going to be in tomb. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we get them to ten. DDT, what up? How you doing? Welcome back for the 53rd month. We should play CDH sometime. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down to clown. I have a... Like, I made my Keenan deck. It was uh, heavily influenced by... Um, both the CDH list that they had at the Spike Feeders uh, studio, as well as Comedian. Comedian's, like, recent Keenan winning list. There's my... There's the CDH list. If you're wondering, Command, or sorry, Canadian Highlander is not CDH. It's not Commander. It's closer to, like, Cube Constructed than anything. And the Juan Ring... Damn. Okay. So they have protection from everything. Which makes... The Tendrils line less appealing. I could gain infinite life, but that doesn't do too much against... Eggs? Um... Hmm. I still think I'd go for it. I'm sad. Oh, I put the wrong thing on top. Uh oh. <laughs> put the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. Okay, I can make this work. I can make this work. Feels like Surge builds decks that would be at home in 2019, 2020. How do I word this? I want, I'm, I, by all, by no means am I trying to slam Surge. Um, I don't 100% agree with that. I get where you're coming from. I think it is closer to Surge builds decks as, not necessarily th that he builds decks as though they are in, from the era of like 2019 to 2020 but that he builds decks without fully utilizing the tools that we have received from the pandemic and forward, you know? Or maybe he builds decks with current stuff, but builds them in a way as though he's expecting to not play against current stuff, you know? I found Lotus. This would have been so much better if I didn't fuck up. I just saw the Gristle brand and I'm like, uh-huh, I'm resolving in Tomb. I'm not resolving in Tomb. Okay. Now, at least they're Terrarian. Terrarian needs to be tapped, which makes it a bit of an awkward egg. But he's going to... He's got Scrappy T and Black Lotus. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Crop Rot for Academy into Lotus. If Kelvin's off cards, this isn't that bad. I mean, obviously the one ring is going to draw some cards next turn. No, well, there's another draw. <laughs> I 
It's definitely going to take some time for me to get used to playing on Magic Online again. Like, playing Cube on Magic Online is different than playing Can Lander. Uh, the decks are bigger. But unironically, <laughs> like, having to look through a hundred cards and be like, what am I doing? Who am I looking at? <clears throat> P.O. in Canlander? Yeah, it's kind of win more. I played P.O. in Academy a lot to the point where I call, I will still to this day refer to um, Paradox Academy as P.O. when I mean to say like P.A. All right, so my opponent has Salvagers and Blotus, uh, which goes infinite here. And I don't have an answer to this. Not bad. A little turn four win there. We could have gone for it. I don't think we're winning, <clears throat> but you know, we could have tried to go for it if I didn't misclick. It's pretty tough, especially because they have protection from everything, but... Mm. We have the Visaju, which is a pretty good pick. God, get wrong and burnt offering. I'm kind of tempted to keep it just because we have Lotus Cobra. I think I'm going to keep this. Lotus Cobra is so good in this deck. It's wild. Wanting to get into a combo deck for online Canlander. Any recommendations for good ones right now? Fuck, what do you want to do? Gold Travesty? Do you want creature combo? Do you want like Lotus combo? Do you want Underworld Breach stuff? Do you want Academy? Paradox Academy, I think, is pretty strong right now. Do you want to lose to Fury? Yeah. I think you're a bit too lost in the sauce chunk, but I love the enthusiasm. Love to see it. You hate to see it, but you love to see it. If you're building Cephalid Breakfast and Canlander, what colors would I play? Uh, I'd probably go four color, no red, because you get to play Hermit Druid and stuff. So I think you're like a Hermit Druid deck as well. The green creature tutors are pretty absurd. Uh, the black tutors and hand attack are also pretty strong. And obviously you need blue for your cantrips and uh, your, um, your core, K-O-R. You want to play Painter Stone? <clears throat> I do think Painter Stone is not... Oh, fuck. I think Painter Stone is severely underplayed. Like, that combo is not that bad. I played it in Welder, and I liked it. Fast Bond into Land... <laughs> land... Egg, Egg. I could besage you the, uh, the Fast Bond here, but I think... I am also a combo deck. So I am going to... Oh, fuck. They can hit that. That's okay. It draws... It takes a card out of their hand. And we can re... We can refill with Ponder. Do it. I dare you. Blow up my Cobra. The Sigi is not that great against eggs unless they have exactly... Like, if they have KCI. Or you can, like, occasionally catch them on a trawler. But... Oh my god, they let me... I'm gonna just slam this Gitrog monster. They let this all happen. Holy shit. Uh, I need white, blue. Oh, I need black. Black, white. Black, blue. Black, blue. I need black, blue. All right. I don't know how good this uh, line actually is, but here we are. I could ponder here and try to find another land, a fetch. Is that worth cracking the pedal? That's kind of worth cracking the pedal. <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, G 
shoot, what did I leave on top? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chrome Mox, Flooded Strand. Uh, Seth, what breakfast is mid tier? Mid tier awful. It's pretty bad. It was. It was thoughts. No, it was Inquisition. Yeah, Sefi Sefi B is pretty bad. I know a thing or two about bad deckless names, and Cephalid Breakfast is pretty atrocious. We could tendrils them. Oh, Kappa Cannoneer, Yowza. We could <laughs> we could tendrils them for six. Fader combo has been mediocre when I've jammed it in Welder and Vault. Six mana is just too much and the pieces on their own aren't that good. You also don't have the blast density like in Legacy. Yeah, it's it's not an everyday thing, you know? But it's not, what I'm saying is that it's not like stone unplayable. Like, it was a combo that I put in, I didn't have in my Welder deck. And then I added it to my Welder deck the next week and people were like, oh shit, I was not ready to fight this. It's the battle of the big idiots. Two big idiots right here coming at you. Ooh. We can entomb for Savine's reclamation, but that doesn't do anything. Uh, am I just entombing for life on the again? I can entomb for a land. <laughs> Draw a card. You think they block? Oh, they, they can't block uh, profitably. <laughs> and I have this Children of Corliss. <laughs> nice Kappa Cannon to your hit. It'd be a shame if I were to... Uh, one, two, that was storm one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, fuck. So close. I could have tried, to, I could have tried to kill them if we entomb for, um. Oh, fuck, could I have killed them? I think I could have killed them. If I, one, we play this, Oh no, because I have to play this. But we can Savine's Wreck to get back Petal and Land. Fuck, I think I could have killed them. I think I could have killed them with a pretty goofy line. Like, actually just stormed them out. Um... Do I give a hoot about this? I mean, there's not much I can do about
upkeep and latent tutor uh they don't have memory jar mana kci doesn't do anything here um six thopter foundry's not doing enough oh yeah we can't do the colored part of gag one ring that's a good one to hit Unfortunately, I think this means that I'm going to have to sack my children. I like the beans in Jeskai. Uh, Jeskai bean. I want to try Soltai beans. Which is just Soltai delve. But with beans. I think that would be a neat deck to re-examine. I think I want to track so. This brand's not doing it. Tatiova didn't wouldn't do it. All right, reanimate spell. Ah, <sighs> oh, God. Okay. So the turn that I'm kind of agonizing about involved, uh, it was with the Gitrog where we can burn offering the Gitrog and then we can entomb for Savine's reclamation. And then we get to um, find Lotus Petal and we get back Lotus Petal in the land. And then we get to tendrils them for Exaxes. Agonizing, <laughs> feels agonizing. I might have to tap out after this. Holy shit, we've been live for four and a half hours. All right. Okay. I still have work to do. I mean, this is work, but I have uh, prep, secret, secret work. I have secret work to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting my own secret layer. Yeah, it's about time. They said, Ben, we are so sorry that we gave it to some low B like Post Malone before giving it to you. And they were like, what do you want on your secret layer? And I looked them dead in the eye and I said, every reserve list card. And they said, Ben, you know we can't do that. And I said, oh yeah? Why don't you talk to my uncle, Mark Rosewater? And then Einstein came through the door and said, I think you'll find here that E uh, equals MC squared, where E is excitement and uh, M is Magic the Gathering and C is cards. Uh, magic e, Excitement equals Magic the Gathering cards. And squared is that we need twice as many cards that are on the reserve list printed into rotation. And then everybody clapped. Yeah, finally everybody clapped at the end. Oof. Or oof, I guess, in this case. Egged. <laughs> Wait, no. I mean, no, they're not putting more cards on the reserve list. No, no, no. I mean, they're, they're printing... Uh. GG's, Kelvin. WP's. What was the line I missed? Uh, I burnt offering my Gitrog. I entomb for Savine's Wreck. I Savine's Wreck flashback to bring back land and lotus petal and I can tendrils you for exaxes. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. Uh yeah, I'm going to call it there. I'm uh I haven't really had uh I haven't had enough time to rest after the weekend. Uh, I feel fine. I'm just, you know, a little, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're COVID negative, but we are uh, sleepy time uh, positive. I've been waking up at six, it sucks. 
I'm still on Winnipeg time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there, but don't worry. Uh, because all the cube streams I had scheduled for this week are actually Canlander streams. Cause cube's not on Magic Online right now. Um, I'm gonna call it there. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, this deck was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm glad we got to give some reps. I'm going to try out the other version of this deck sometime, but I'm probably not gonna run them back to back. Uh, if you have a deck list you want to see on stream, let me know. I'll uh, I'll see uh, see what I want to play. I had Jund Madness lined up, but I'm worried that that deck is just going to be completely unplayable. Who knows? A uh, reminder that if you want to play Canadian Highlighter with me, uh, no, I know the command has been updated, but what is the command? Holy shit. There we go. Uh, if you want to play Canadian Highlander with me, uh, you can do so through sponsor of the channel, uh, Mana Traders. Uh, you can use code Ben Wheeler, capital B, capital W, to get 10% off your subscription for the first couple of months. Uh, it helps get me to do this because they are the ones that let me do these streams. Um, and then there's a referral link down there as well when you sign up for the account. I'd recommend the Commander Bundle because it's tw like 20 to 25 bucks a month. You get 450 tickets, which is basically every deck in the format. Um, I mean, it's good enough for this deck with the One Ring and Shieldred and Atraxa and all these other cards that are kind of uh, buffing the, the dollar amount up. Um, and the only caveat is that you can only play one of any given card. So, or you can only rent one of any given card. So no uh, Rat Colony. You'll have to buy those yourself. Uh, and cardkingdom.com, also sponsor the channel. Use cardkingdom.com slash wheeler. Pick up cards. Helps me, helps the channel grow. Uh, let me drop your kids off somewhere. Let me drop your kids off somewhere. Hey, how about we go to Serge Jaeger? Have you heard of this guy? Serge Jaeger? He's an Albertan content creator. Uh, he, uh, we saw him for filming, you know, uh, got to support these new content creators. Uh, go watch Surge play a thing and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Have a good one.